I wanted to ask you about what you're seeing and hearing. You're in the western part of Michigan. That's right. Uh, I mean, these are tough days for all Americans. Mm -hmm. What do people tell you when you're out campaigning? What matters most to them? What matters a lot these days uh, is your bank accounts. The high gas prices you're paying are crazy. Uh, they're trying to say, oh, prices have gone down a little bit. Nope, still 75% higher than the day that um, Joe Biden came into office, yeah. so still way higher. You look at inflation, you're losing about a month's worth of your paycheck because of inflation right now. This is hitting everybody hard, especially That's regular pretty folks. Powerful. Say that again, because I don't think a lot of people have put it in that perspective. Sure. You're losing one month's worth of your, worth of your paycheck because of inflation. You've mm -hmm. got 8% inflation. That's money that's evaporating in a thin air. That's not in your bank account. And with things the way they are these days, people can't afford that. It's hitting folks really hard. So I hear that quite a bit. And I also hear a lot about education. In this country, we used to have the very simple idea that parents have a right to know what's happening in the schools. Yeah. Crazy idea, I know. Maybe yeah. you're a domestic terrorist these days. <laughs> yeah. that. You know, it's just nuts. Who, who would have ever thought that it was inappropriate for a parent to go to a school board meeting right. and raise questions about what their children were being indoctrinated with and to be called a terrorist because of that? That's right. We used to call those people citizens. That's right. So I, I often say that this election is not even going to be Democrat versus Republican. It's crazy versus normal. So <laughs> it's really something. I, I think that's a good assessment. And, and, you know, John, I've known a lot of Democrats in my life. They're not crazy people. They're, they're responsible. They're decent folks. That's right. They love America. They may, you know, butter their bread a little different than I would. Um, but, but I know deep down they don't believe that we ought to just move parents off of the map completely when it comes to their kids' education. They don't think that a five-year-old child ought to be making an irreversible decision about his or her gender yes. and have life-altering surgery or chemical uh, concoctions put into their body that can never be changed. I mean, th those are things that you say crazy versus normal, but that's crazy versus normal. I think what you're seeing, though, is a certain segment of the top of the, the left that's pushing this stuff really aggressively. So that's why I think we've got a good shot in November. Um, it's not going to be only Republicans. I think you're going to see Republicans, independents, and as I say, every Democrat to the right of Karl Marx. You're yeah. going to see them come around to uh, uh, rationality here. So. Well, let's hope there's a bunch more that are still to the right of Karl Marx, because, yeah. I mean, that is pretty scary. What will be your priorities? As a member of Congress, you're, you'd be one of a 435 people in that body. Mm -hmm. And when you get sworn in, what is it that you're going to say, this is my focus? Um, I kind of discussed earlier gas prices. We've got to get more domestic production, period. We've got, got to get stuff pumping here so we can get back to energy independence. Uh, got to reduce inflation. Yeah. Well, you once worked in Silicon Valley, there's an unbelievable influence that Silicon Valley now has on the country, not only in the economic world, but in determining whose voice gets to be heard. Sure. So when Facebook says, John, you have views we don't like, we're not going to let anyone hear you. Our Twitter says, we're going to ban you because we don't like what you think. How do we fight that? What can we do to change that where there's freedom of speech again? No, I'm thankful that when I worked in Silicon Valley, it wasn't woke like today. Hmm. And we had Steve Jobs. He was all about product, product, product. He wasn't trying to censor people. Uh, today, it would be much worse if I were there. But, you know, I think you can look at Section 230. That's a law that's out there that regulates how these social media companies are allowed to operate. We can look at some changes there to give them more accountability and make sure that they're allowing all voices to be heard. Um, there are other ways you can look at if they're a public utility or not, and are they actually the public square, which I believe they are. If you make those determinations, you can put other requirements on them as well to make sure they can't just censor based on politics. Your water company can't cut off your water if you're a Trump supporter. Yeah. Um, so I think there's a lot of wisdom. Don't perhaps. give them the idea. They oh, might try. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So I, I think we can look at models like that, uh, if, if they can apply to social media companies or not. But this is becoming an issue. People's ability to be heard is being totally cut off. So uh, there's lots of policy issues we can look at. One thing people don't know is that the social media companies are some of the biggest lobbyists in Washington, D.C. Yeah. They spend a very large amount of money on both sides of the aisle trying to keep the status quo. So that's one of the interesting quirks out there. But I think we can stand up and do something right there. John, we're going to count on you getting there and stirring it up and disrupting the status quo. You know, you are an extraordinary, articulate, and uh, I think thoughtful candidate. You've thought through these issues deeply, and what a biography. Good heavens alive, man. We need you in Congress. I want to thank you for coming to be with us, and I hope our audience will do all they can to find out more about John Gibbs and uh, 
helping him out to get to the Congress, not just for his district, but for all of us. How to do that? Go to Huckabee.tv. At our website, we have links directly to John Gibbs, to his campaign, and all that he stands for. You can also follow him on social media. We'll tell you how to do that.